easement in <laughs> well um actually what i would like to talk to you about is like this uh, catastrophic government we just got uh, dismantling the ministry of environment and everything so like it's like yeah just a message to the world <laughs> that we have a really a nasty situation We'll take that in another webinar and I'll focus on plug-in hybrids instead. So uh, we uh, Anna Johnson from New Weather Sweden and um, in 2021 we made a report the big hybrid hoax focusing on the plug-in hybrids and uh, just to give you a short uh, context from the Swedish perspective that uh, Sweden is really a car dependent country, country car dependent. Uh, it also has a strong uh, car industry with Volvo uh, that you certainly know. And they don't only sell cars, they sell heavy cars. And that influences the Swedish politics. Uh, I would say that every government, regardless of left or right, it listens very well, uh, keenly to, to Volvo. Uh, and uh, so Sweden has, I think, one of the heaviest uh, car fleets, if not the most heavy car fleet in Europe as a result of this. And one clear example is also like, so in this transition we are in, uh, there has not really been a clear fight with combustion engine and uh, big cars. They're still uh, on the roads and they're still uh, being sold. And the latest example is the plug-in hybrid. Uh, and in many cases, the plug-in hybrid has a small, quite weak electric engine and still strong and big combustion engine. Uh, and um, so you believe when you buy it that you do a good thing, but in reality, you drive a lot of the time with the fossil fuel uh, combustion engine. And it's also, the problem is also from the car industry that what we've seen is that it's marketed as a good choice environmentally. So maybe Emily, if you'd like to uh, share the screen or the pictures, I will show you some examples of these ads that we've seen in Sweden. Uh, really framing these cars as a good environmental choice. Um, and meanwhile, I could just go on and tell that it's not only the marketing that's a problem, it's also the methodology of how to measure the carbon dioxide emissions from these cars. Um, there's a European standard of how to measure uh, carbon dioxide emissions from cars, that's WLTP. And when you uh, compare the emissions from these studies, the official figures with independent studies that have been made, uh, the real emissions are about like sometimes three times higher uh, in real uh, compared to the official figures. So it's, if you go back to the, the ads in the beginning. So this is one example, uh, the organic mobility. Uh, we found this one and it's an ad for a Jeep, SUV. Uh, and it says when the two engines work together, uh, the environmental impact is uh, decreasing uh, a lot or something like that uh, and it's uh, yeah described as and also this word organic is like it's absurd <laughs> it's an suv <laughs> but actually uh, this one was banned after being reported to the swedish uh, advertisement on this month uh, when we do that uh, so this one could not continue but then we have uh, other ones like this at, at the left in the screen the new Volvo XC60, and you even see the electric cord lying on the ground, but you don't see any emissions at all, even though this, ha this car has a big combustion engine. So there are very, very, very many examples of this uh, that we've seen, and we've also trying, tried to report uh, more of them. So that's uh, like, um, yeah, it's uh, that you can uh, that you can market cars with really big emissions like this as if they were green. It's really greenwash, uh, of course. And then the, we have this question of the methodology. And uh, if you like compare the so we have been using figures from the ICCT, that's the International Council for, of, on Clean Transportation. So we had, didn't do these calculations on our own. We're using their figures, uh, and 
if you compare the official, like if you look at the Volvo V60 and the medium uh, official figure is 44 grams per kilometer and emission that ICCT found is 100, 122 grams per kilometer. And one explanation to this is that people don't use that the electric engine as much as uh, expected. Uh, they maybe drive uh, longer distances or they don't charge the electric engine uh, as uh, much as they could have. So in reality, these are really big polluters, these cars, and then uh, sold as a good environmental choice. Uh, and uh, not the least, they also get, at least in Sweden, uh, bonuses. Uh, I don't know really the English word for this, but we have a bonus mailers. Thing to you? Can you use this word? I don't know. Well, it's some some cars are having uh, like polluting cars uh, are getting a fee, and uh, like environmental friendly cars are getting bonuses. And since these um, cars, these big plug-in hybrids with combustion engines, have so low emissions in the official figures, they also get bonuses from the state. In 2020, they got one there was 1 billion Swedish crowns paid in bonuses to these cars. Uh, that's about 840 million British pounds. Uh, so it's absurd <laughs> in a climate crisis that money is paid to these cars. Uh, so, but uh, if we go back to the uh, one that was before, uh, I'd just like to, we made this report one and a half years ago, and I do think that things have changed a bit. Um, if you look at the sales of plug-in hybrids in 2020, 2021, the share was um, of plug-in hybrids were bigger than the electric, the clean electric cars. But you can, as you can see, uh, until now in 2022, the clean electric, I don't know if they were clean cars, but you know what I, uh, the share has been, is bigger now. So, I mean, what we See is maybe like a piece of history, hopefully, uh, but of course the case is not one. And one good sign is also that the EU has decided to revise the WLTP system so that plug-in hybrids will be regarded differently from 2025. So that's that's some kind of good news. Um, but of course we would need to reform, at least in Sweden, the bonus mailers scheme that we have so that these cars should not have bonuses at all. And uh, of course, these ads should not be allowed. Uh, fossil fuel ads should not be allowed at all. And uh, also car industry needs to take responsibility to, to distinguish clearly in, and not to do greenwashing and, and uh, misleading ads. And finally, of course, the best car is the one that's not sold at all. So keep on walking and cycle. Thank you. Anna, thank you so much.